Hey guys, it's Jmolf. So the topic I want to cover today is how should you be learning pickup? Okay, so the conventional way that most of you are accustomed to is you join a bunch of fucking pickup forums on Facebook, right? I think I see a bunch of you, you're part of like five, six, ten Facebook groups, right? Maybe you join RST Nation, you're on there. You join your uh, your local town's group me or WhatsApp group, okay? And Trust me, I've been part of all these groups and I've read the questions and the answers. I would say upwards of 95% of the time, right? So we're, we're talking about almost 100% of the time. It's actually probably even higher than that. The answers being given out are wrong, okay? Now, let me let that sink in for a moment. You guys are all out there on these learning resource channels trying to learn pick up trying to get better at game okay and i'm not and i'm not even talking about like the fucking scam companies right i'm not talking about like rst misleading you and these other fucking shitty coaches misleading you i'm talking about your peers like groups of peers and forums groups of peers in these group me chats these whatsapp chats okay these other fucking uh private forums and stuff like that you guys are part of all these things and you're putting questions out there, right? You ask in the WhatsApp chat, hey guys, what do I do when this happens? Bunch of people reply. You ask in the Facebook forum, hey guys, what should I do here? Bunch of people reply. Now let me tell you the problem with this. Almost everyone in the community is fucking horrible at this, if you haven't noticed, okay? Like the number of guys that I consider really good at this are under 10. That's not an exaggeration, it's not, I'm not trying to be dramatic. And there's 4 billion men in the world. And I've said in other videos, that doesn't mean that me and a, nine other dudes are the only people getting chicks. There's plenty of naturals. I'm talking about community guys. Okay, there's plenty of celebrities and athletes. I'm talking about community guys. Almost everyone is unqualified to give advice. So what you have is a perpetual situation of the blind leading the blind. This is a, this is a very, very important video. This is a very important point. Because you guys are all fucking giving advice to each other. Like... Imagine, imagine like someone was trying to like train to be an NBA basketball player, right? And you have like LeBron James and you have Kobe Bryant, and all this stuff. And then like you have like uh, like thousands of people going into these like beginner basketball, like say like it's just all beginners or like everyone fucking sucks at basketball. And they're like, hey man, like how should I take a shot? And, like some other dude that has no fucking clue that that that, that can't even shoot well is like, oh dude, you gotta do it like this. And he's like, yeah, yeah thanks man. And like the, the problem is no one fucking, well, first of all, I'm, I'm going to tell you matter of factly that almost all the advice I'm seeing on these forums and these WhatsApp groups and these group me groups is wrong or at, to some degree, like qualitatively off, like by, a, by a significant factor. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying like every single response is off. It's just not like solid expert advice. Okay. Like I used to play professional poker. Um, RST Todd did as well. I read seven poker books written by experts that were making millions of dollars and I was able to place very high and win lots of money because I was learning from experts, okay? You shouldn't be taking advice from these random motherfuckers in these forums, okay? It's, it's detracting from your progress. It's misleading you. Like here's, I could give you a million examples of this. Here's one example in a group me thread, you know, these things, and everyone's always spamming these threads and all this shit, asking the same questions over and over, and everyone's giving all these different forms of wrong advice and shit, right? One example, I saw this dude was like, hey man, like, uh, I couldn't close on my day two, and that, that's pickup lingo for a first date, and some other kid was like, in general, as a rule, um, you, cannot, you can not usually close until a day three, which means a second date. And everyone in the group's like, oh, I didn't realize that. Like, thank you. And I'm like, holy shit. And I, I could just, I could, I could probably rant for like several hours, giving you example after example after example. But it like drives me crazy. Because like a guy like myself, I figured out every fucking angle. Like things that I didn't know really well, I sought out top experts or I innovated and solved those problems. And like, my game was like super, super tight back in like 2012, 2013. And I've like constantly been scanning it for weak spots, constantly been trying to evolve it and optimize it, constantly speaking to naturals and like anyone I can that's better than me at any area of game and figuring out why they're better at that area of game and then 
adapting. That's how you get better. You find people that are the experts. Okay, so I'm just going to, and for those of you that feel like you're left out, I really don't think uh, you're worth mentioning. That's not like a diss. I'm going to say for online game and texting, you want Alex Vilenchek runs Playing With Fire and David Swift. He runs Swift Pickup. They just put together a 300-page fucking holy Bible on online game and texting. It's all you need to know about it. It's fucking really well done. Really amazing. For shit like bodybuilding, for shit like uh, how to build a personal brand, like non-pickup areas, Sonny Arvado, okay, strengthbysunny.com. And I'll put these links and these, these people in the uh, description. Chris Wild uh, from Social, he runs Social Prime on Facebook. Um, very impressive results at a young age. He's running an amazing immersion program. He just did a whole bunch of rounds in Budapest. Um, I can't remember what city he's going to next. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Chris. But you guys can message me or whatever, um, or join his group, and you can you can stay up to date on that. Uh, Jason James in New York, um, amazing coach. We ran a program together. We had 11 times where the students took girls home on one three-day program, which is fucking amazing. Okay, I've seen him. He gets tons of hot girls. Strong dude. Knows martial arts. These are the people you need to learn from. I'm trying to think. There's a German coach, um, John Damianov. Okay, he goes by like, I can't even remember the fucking name. Yeah, I'll post his Instagram, whatever. Uh, he's really solid. I want to make sure I don't leave anyone out. Fuck. Those, I mean, those are the main guys like that I'm, that I'm thinking of. You want to get advice from them, okay? And pretty much not from anyone else is, is my point here in this video. Um, that doesn't mean leave all your fucking WhatsApp groups and your, your group me threads on stuff, but you have to realize you have, most of the community sucks. It's a fact, like almost everyone, there aren't, there aren't all these like rising stars and all this shit. Like everyone fucking blows a lot of it. And I've, I've said in other videos, a lot of it is the fault of like misinformation and you know, just a bunch of bullshit coming out of these stupid companies that are just scamming you and trying to make money off of you like RSD. And so guys are just like constantly confused and all this stuff. But when these guys, I see every fucking day this happens. When these guys answer your questions, these random guys, that's why I'm constantly like, when I see like a bad answer, I'm like, dude, what's your late count? And he'll be like, oh, it's this. Or, and I'm not going to call out this one dude. I don't want to like disgrace him or whatever. But there was a dude in my personal forum recently that was like, why, why does every girl have a boyfriend? Why does every hot girl have a boyfriend? And I was like, uh, that's not true. It, it's probably your game. And he's like, no, 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 my game's tight as fuck. And so I'm like, what's your lay count? And everyone's like, oh, lay count, lay count. Lay, like, you're just a lay count guy. No, like, it's an objective measure of your skill. Like, it would be in, in sales. Like, a, a salesman that has closed a lot of sales versus a beginner salesman that hasn't closed any sales. One knows a lot more what the fuck he's doing than the other, backed up by data. Okay? Um, and so I'm like, what, what's your lay count, dude? Like, why your game's tight as fuck? Like, how many girls do you want? He's like, eight. And not to fucking humbly brag or whatever, but I just closed eight new in the last eight days. And I had, and that one kid in my forum was like, provide proof. And I like sent him all this shit. <laughs> he was like, oh, fuck. Um, but, and I, again, I don't lie about results ever. I don't always go on streaks like that. It's just been, it's just been good. Um, I mean, but my, my rate of closing has increased. Like I made a bunch of really key optimizations. I'll discuss them in another video uh, earlier this year. And in March, when I filmed a bunch of infield in New York City, I closed 25 in 30 days. And that's just closing. Like, there was, like, blowjobs, handjobs, makeouts, like, all this stuff with other girls. Awesome dates where they wouldn't come home with me. All this other awesome shit that happened, adventures, that wasn't even resulting in sex. And that doesn't even get counted in that 25 out of 30. So, and I'll go over those key optimizations. One of them is inviting girls straight to the house. I have another video about that I just made yesterday. I'll link to that at the end of this video. If you haven't watched that, it's a very, very, very important video. Um, I, have, I have a dude that I told about this like two months ago, and he said like eight or nine out of ten girls now that, that are willing to meet up with him will come to his house using the strategy. that. And I talk about it. It's a ten-minute video. Um, that's really all there is to be said. Like you guys need to realize, oh, and I, I, in my old forum, I had a rule. Let me check the time. I need to really start using a fucking timer. Let me just see here. Okay, I got five seconds. Never mind. Thank you for watching. Take care.